I don't know why anyone other than law enforcement officers need to have stun guns. Wait, what did he just say? I don't know why anyone other than law enforcement officers need to have stun guns. I guess that's easy to say for a New Jersey politician living in a wealthy neighborhood. But what about a single mother living in a dangerous area? Or better yet, what about women being harassed by a stalker? After NJTV reported that we, the New Jersey Second Amendment Society, successfully sued the state of New Jersey over their ban on the sale and possession of stun guns and tasers, I was contacted by a young woman that was once harassed by a stalker. That stalker? <laughs> None other than Assemblyman Raj Mukherjee. Yeah, that's right. Raj Mukherjee, who was once indicted for stalking women, is now advocating to ban women from being able to use stun guns and tasers for self-defense. I'd say you can't make this stuff up, but it is New Jersey. It's almost expected. Whoa! Yeah. We got a reporter taking your yeah. According to the Star Ledger and Home News Tribune, Mukherjee avoided trial on charges of stalking two women under a plea agreement with the Middlesex County Prosecutor's Office. The reports state that the agreement was approved by the two alleged victims whose objective was to stop him from having contact with them, not send them to jail. To no one's surprise, Mukherjee claimed that he was the real victim, stating that the charge he pled guilty to a downgraded burglary charge of disorderly trespass was the result of being lured to a property in an inebriated state. I'm Alexander Rubian with the New Jersey Second Amendment Society. To find out more about Raj, please visit nj2as.org forward slash Raj. Also, if you've been a victim of Raj, please email us at tips at nj2as.org. Your information will be held confidential and we're looking to help you. I don't know why anyone other than law enforcement officers need to have stun guns.